Former President Trump bracing for what he predicts will be an indictment and arrest after being told by the special counsel he is the target again of a federal criminal investigation. And tonight, what we have now learned about what was in that letter to Trump from the special counsel. Here's Jonathan Carl. Tonight, former President Donald Trump is bracing to be indicted as soon as Friday on the most serious charges any president has ever faced. Alleged crimes related to his effort to overturn the 2020 election, which culminated in the attack on the Capitol on January 6th. You'll never take back our country with weakness. Sources tell ABC News that Trump never expected to be prosecuted for any of this, that he and his team believed special counsel Jack Smith would write a report instead. But then Sunday, the former president received that target letter from prosecutors, a sure sign an indictment is near. It's unclear what charges Trump could face, but sources tell ABC News that letter included references to three federal laws, conspiracy to defraud the U.S., witness tampering, which could involve obstruction, and, quote, deprivation of rights under color of law. That's when someone in authority uses their power to deny the constitutional rights of other Americans. The investigation has been sweeping, Smith's team interviewing election officials in at least five states, probing an alleged effort to install slates of fake electors, and interviewing the former president's closest aides for a window into his mindset in the weeks after he lost the election. They want to know, did Trump know he had lost the election, and was he illegally trying to overturn the results anyway? Witnesses like Cassidy Hutchinson, the top aide to former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, have publicly testified that Trump knew. So he had said something to the effect of, I don't want people to know we lost, Mark. This is embarrassing. Figure it out. We need to figure it out. I don't want people to know that we lost. The former president remains defiant. It's a disgrace. Uh, if you say something about an election, they want to put you in jail for the rest of your life. It's a disgrace. We've learned that special counsel Jack Smith plans to bring at least one more witness before the grand jury tomorrow, a lower level Trump aide. But David, all signs indicate that an indictment is coming soon, possibly as soon as Friday of this week. John Carl on this again tonight. Thank you, John. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.